Cam Chuck. Hey. What's your name? Cam. Cam Chuck. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cam with the camera. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. I'm sure you've heard that joke today already. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spark. There's always going to be one spark. Let's go. So yeah, here we go again. Here we go again. How do you feel? Much the same as last time. Much the same as last time. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a similar disaster last week. Last week wasn't a disaster though. How has this month and a half made you feel up to this point? made me feel like it's made me sort of comprehend and understand a little better how much work I need to put in to get it as good as I want to get it. I think like a huge part of it just keeping up, keeping up to practice. Well, I historically have not done. To follow your dream, so to speak, does you like before you'd even done this you would have understood it takes a, a high level of commitment right yeah. and i understand that you even though this is something that you want to do you're being pushed into it to some sort of degree which i actually stand by because i think it's a too. necessary evil so to speak it is mate you actually done me a huge favor do you feel that this has made the idea of approaching this and committing to this, uh, approaching this as full time and committing to this as more daunting or does even having jumped in at this point made it feel more manageable and less of a kind of walk into the unknown? Both. Right? It is more daunting. Like, there's a lot more to think about than you necessarily think about as a, as a mere passerby. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more stress, I think, to the whole performance aspect or the build-up to the performance than I really gave it credit for. Um, but equally, you know, I still have the same vision that I had before. Yeah. If anything, it's just more, it feels more within reach. Uh -huh. um, but it is more daunting because it's like, there's so much involved. And We're going to so, go over there. And there's so much risk involved. What's the risk? The risk is entirely subjective. Yeah. I just don't want to be a mediocre performer. I, like, I don't want to put out something that's kind of half-baked. I'd rather spend like six weeks working on a set, I think, to make it awesome. Than to spend a couple of weeks working on a set that might be okay. And I don't know if I'll ever get over that. I think that there's, I think that there's something like a type of defense mechanism within us that's subconscious, which is telling you that you don't want to draw negative attention to yourself no matter what, yeah, right? That's for sure. So it's a kind of like. I'm not even sure I want positive attention. <laughs> That's, well, I mean, you do have a dream of being a buster, yeah. so there must be some sort of aspect of the positive attention that appeals to you. There must be. Uh, the inner child is not dead. No, and you do like positive attention. Everybody does, you know, like even if it's just hanging out with your friends and then laughing at your jokes. Yeah. Um, but you were saying the defense mechanism. Yeah, the defense mechanism is something within us that, like, makes us want to avoid negative attention because negative attention equals danger. Right. And it is a high level function of us to override that. It, even for the best of people who can do it, it takes time and practice and the repetition, not of doing the actual technical stuff, yeah. but just knowing that it's going to be fine. Yeah. You know, like everybody feels nervous for anything they're doing for the first time, really. That is true. Welcome to Kensington Market. Yeah.
okay. It's okay. That's annoying. Why are you thinking? Well, what about over there by the fan? What do you think? Sorry mate. Good do, yeah. Bye -bye. Hi, Biggs. Hi, Biggs. Hi, Biggs. I live the life of a millionaire Spent all my money, didn't have any care To call my friends out for a mighty good time Bought bootleg liquor, champagne and wine Then I began to fall so Lost all my good friends, I had nowhere to go I get my hand on the dollar again Nobody knows when you're down and down. Your pocket not one penny. And as for friends, you don't have many. Nobody knows you when you're down or now. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you when you're down or now. Mama pajamas, she rolled out of bed, she ran to the police station. When the papa found out, he began to shout and start an investigation. And it's against the law, it was against the law. What the mama saw, it was against the law. All the mama looked down, she spits on the ground every time my name gets mentioned. Papa said, oh, if I get that boy, I'm gonna stick him in the house of detention. Well, I'm on my way now. Don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. Taking my time when I don't know where. Goodbye to Rosie and the Queen of Corona.
My voice is definitely off today. It is. I'm a little bit closer. Hear what I have to say. Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away. But there's a full moon rising, let's go dancing in. I want to celebrate See it shining in On this harvest moon For the wrong notes. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> it's a great one. As long as she enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, bro, do you know Stairway to Heaven? I don't. I'll learn it for next time. Stairway and Wonderwall are the two most requested busking songs ever. I feel like <laughs> oh. <laughs> some rock. I don't know any. Folk rock. Yeah, we'll try tonight. Yeah, thank you, sir. Very kind. Donations are not obligatory, but they are welcome. I got my first real six string, bought it the five and dime, played it till my finger is bled. Was the summer of 69. Me and some guys from school had a band and we tried real hard. Jimmy quit, Jody got married, should have known, never get far. Oh, and when I look back now, the summer seemed to last forever. And if I had the choice, you know I'd always want to be there. Those were the best days of my life. bridge. <laughs> Thanks, man. We'll get to the bridge. <laughs> man, we were killing time. We were young and reckless. Needed to unwind. Oh, I guess nothing can last forever. Forever It was the summer of 69 In the summer of love
That was the last song. That was an empty one. Yeah. But everything up until that point, I thought my life was really good. No, it wasn't. It was. But okay. One more, please. I don't have any more. You don't have any more? Well, maybe I do. Go on. I know you go on. Get the fuck out of here. Are you the sheriff? One more. Cat Stevens. I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping and hopping on a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. And if I ever lose my legs, I won't moan, I won't bear. If I ever lose my legs away, I won't have to walk no more. And if I ever lose my eyes, if my colors all run dry, if I ever lose my eyes away, I won't have to cry no more. If I ever lose my mouth, all my teeth north and south. If I ever lose my mouth, wait, you won't have to talk. Cause I'm being followed by a moon shadow, moon shadow, moon shadow. Leaping and hopping on a moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. Moon shadow, moon shadow. Thank you. That's all. I'll stop bothering you now. <laughs> no, don't stop. Another cat Stevens. Another cat Stevens. One more. Another cat Stevens. I know T for the Tillman, but that's on piano. It's not time to make a change, just sit down and take it easy. You're still young, that's your fault, well so much you have to go. Find a girl, settle down, if you want you can marry. Look at me, I am old but I'm happy. I was once like you are now. And I know that it's not easy to become when you found something going on. From the moment I could talk, I was ordered to listen. Now there's a way, and I know that I have to go away. I know I have to go. Did you want to do a song? I, I feel like you guys, guys play. play. <laughs> you know? I really enjoy the music we don't play. Wow.
no darkness, my old friend. Echo in the wells of silence. That was the last one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for suffering my, uh, I don't know, ordeal pollution. Seventy-five, three eighty-five, four, four ten. That's right. Half of it's off. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Take my cut now. You should put in a little pencil for me. You should keep that. That's yeah. That's like your first paycheck. That is right. That is my first. Paycheck. I'm very happy. Seriously. I think the first guy just gave out a sympathy. But the second. No, guy, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, which, how do you think that went? You're allowed to I be happy the, with it. I think the last two songs were okay. Yeah, okay, go on. <laughs> no, 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 continue. I think all the other ones, like all the ones I rehearsed, like... Okay, I don't think it went as badly as last time. It definitely didn't go as bad. <laughs> I mean, honestly, last time didn't go badly, but this time was better than last time. Brian Adams' song, mm. that was... the the roughest song of the set. Yeah. And before that, your voice was really good. Really? It was fine. Mm. I, I'm setting a rule yeah. for, I'm setting a rule for next time. Mm. No putting yourself down. I don't want to hear one time you saying, oh, thanks for this, like, oh, okay. it's, okay. Don't, I don't want to hear, it, it's not only wrong, but it's completely irrelevant, even if that was the case. Okay. I, like, all of the rest, you're really good with the crowd. Like, I actually took, I don't know what Nathan thinks, but I took this, today that you actually work better with a crowd like you work better with people that you yeah. interact with i know they're there i can't avoid them okay. if you believe that you're that such and such they will believe it as well yeah i know that's i mean that's the irony in all this is that if only i could overcome my own uh, fear of the situation well you like, can the whole thing would be better you can it just this is what doing it over and over again that's, that's the only way to to exactly. learn how to do it. Yeah. I will, like, I, I, and again, I want to emphasize that it's very easy for me to give this perspective to you, mm. but if I was doing this, I'd be 10 times worse. Nathan would also not be 10 times worse necessarily, but be feeling the pressure. Mm. I'd be way bad. Way bad. <laughs> yeah. Ev anybody would. Anybody mm. would. And. It, that goes for what people care about themselves as well. Yeah. So you kind of have to like take that on board. Like, really, you should be giving yourself a really big pat on the back mm. for um, having a really great set and reaching a milestone of getting some money from it. Yeah, that is that is that is nice. Even if it's just a few coins. I'm like, so you get, like, at least it was good enough for someone to think. I'll, I'll throw in some change. So take a, like a, more than a minute, the rest yeah. of the day, to revel and um, give yourself a really pat on the back. You should be very happy with yourself and respect yourself. I'm happier with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with the way that went than much happy with the way that went than the last time, which is good. What was interesting about that set? There were two interesting things I think. I can't remember the first There were a lot of interesting <laughs> things about that set that I don't know if you even noticed. The song that I played best was the one I didn't rehearse. I had not rehearsed that Cat Stevens song. I think that's, that's, that's the one I, placed, I played most cleanly. I think that it took your mind off it a lot, mm. having those guys there to bounce off of. Yeah. And uh, the reason why those last two songs you feel were better mm. is because your mind was off it and you had a little bit of distance from yourself. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, fortunately there was no violence 
Nothing got stolen. I don't think. We don't, we don't. The only thing I would say is when you try to get more of a movement, you mm -hmm. try to like interact the audience with you. Yeah, you're good at that. Mm. When you do that, you kind of like, I don't know, you come out of your shell a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think, I don't know. It's not yeah. always possible, but no, if you see an it's, opening. It's, it's something I need to work on, because I know like, especially when I'm nervous. Like, nervous is like this kind of self-perpetuating thing, because it makes the thing worse, and then you're more nervous about the thing being worse. It's hard when I'm worrying about that stuff to be like in the moment, which is the ironic conundrum. Just take your time, man. You've got a lot of stuff on your mind, and if you do it more, a lot of that stuff will start to get off your mind. Mm. I hope so. I, I hope that future performances are more like, or becoming more like the last two songs. That was like way better than I thought it was going to go. Not in terms of his quality, but in terms of how he felt about it. Like yeah. I'm really happy with how today went. I think that today was the best performance so far. And I'm really happy he's going into now this visa process mm -hmm. with looking back on this bit fondly, at least more fondly. Yeah. Now it's all about the visa thing. So, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, there was a lot to deal with in that shoot. Next time it won't be like this. Oh yeah, you got a, you have a plan? I do have a plan. Does, it, does the audience get to know or? or no, we, we I'll waiting? tell you once we stop shooting. All right. um, we'll leave the surprise till then. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, all right, I think I've said everything I want to say. Cool, cool. All right. Thank you very much for watching. It means the world to us and we hope you can join us for Chuck's journey and support him. Chuck just watched episode four. What did you think of that, Chuck? I liked episode four. He liked episode four. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and click on any of the links in the description. It's just a few clicks. If you don't subscribe, YouTube will still show you adverts and we won't get any share at all. We're gonna split it evenly so we can go and make more projects and Chuck can busk more. Right, Chuck? I knew it in the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, but I went north when I came back in 2003 and 2018. This was a huge uh, British farm. Well, this was where it came to shop affordable and anything that you wouldn't get. Every food, every culture of food, every language, and everything was affordable, but it wasn't just that. It was where you could get exotic things and meet people from other countries. Always was music, always, and always was um, food. So you come And home. art, art was mm. huge. And this real estate's a small fortune. I could buy an 18 uh, bedroom chateau in France for less than one of those broken yeah. semis. There's no land. It was all harder. But all the little mom and pop shopkeepers were in front and music was playing. Just a different vibe. It was the most wonderful place. Like everybody that's important to the market. Mm. One tell of me the musicians says they're all bohemian, but they're eccentric individual mm. people. There's no <laughs> that was that really, was really lovely, yeah. Wendy. I'm Thank glad you. we were able to. If you hadn't had the accent, you might not have gone. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. It's finally paying off. <laughs>